the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear good people, I'm sure you are well this day, Monday. So we are entering into the Lenten period on Wednesday, to be precise. And therefore, I would want us to reflect on what do we need to do as we prepare for Lent. Lent is a season that is worth preparing you may have noted, those of you who live in big towns, two weeks before Valentine, the shopping malls had the ambience of uh, Valentine's Day. There were decorations, there were gift vouchers, there were suggestions for holidays, all those things. That means we were assisted in preparing for Valentine's, which came and went one day. What does that mean? It tells us every season of our life is worth preparing for. Lent is one of them. Remember we talk about three things, largely. Prayers, almsgiving, and fasting. And quite a good number of us are so particular about fasting as if it is fasting that makes us holy. And I remember I said, that you can fast for as many times that you can, but you are not pleasing God. Because one thing I needed to put today very clear, and I'll be able to be saying it every day of our Lenten period, is this. That Lent is not about doing. Lent is not about what we will eat or not eat. Lent is about becoming. I know a good number of us will be focusing on food, some types of food, and some people will be so religious about not eating meat or eating that or eating the other one, drinking that one or not drinking the other one. But we forget the most fundamental thing. Not that I am trivializing um, fasting. I am not. I'm only being more pragmatic. Those of you who know me, you realize that I am not those fellows who will sugarcoat things to be liked. No, please, I'm not that type. But I like reminding people where truth lies. Sometimes it may be a bit painful but it's good to swallow the dose. We can hide ourselves in eating and not eating, drinking and not drinking, and we forget the fundamentals of Lent. So when we say that Lent is about becoming, what does that mean? That means only one thing, that during Lent we are called to be more like Christ becoming more like Christ. And therefore, as we prepare ourselves for Lent, the following questions would be very important. Question number one, what does my soul need? That would be the best question to ask as you prepare for Lent. What does my soul need. If I can be able to identify what my soul needs, then I can prepare for Lent because I will know. When it comes to Ash Wednesday, I'll be told, repent and believe in the gospel. You see, when we remember those words, when ashes will be praised on us, Repent and believe in the gospel. I must be able to identify what is it I am repenting. Remember King David. When King David sinned, he put on ashes and sackcloth and entered into a journey of repentance. And God forgave him. It is clear what he was repenting. 
he realized he had failed God and failed himself. So it was very clear in his mind why he wanted to repent, to be on sackcloth and ashes, because he wanted to repent on something that he had done. So, we must pose this question again. When I'm told, repent and believe in the gospel, I'll be knowing in the depth of my heart there is this wickedness that I want to repent. In the depth of my heart there is this personal sin I may have kept. So that I will connect that and what will happen on Palm Sunday? On Palm Sunday, we will hold the palms and sing Hosanna. On Wednesday, the ashes that we shall have will be the, the palms that we had last Palm Sunday that are now burnt, now we have the ashes. So when we say Hosanna in the highest, what are we saying? When we say Hosanna, we are telling God, save me now. It has been very clear in my mind that I need to be saved from this and this and that. So I have to identify before Ash Wednesday what my soul needs so that I can be able to position myself as it is supposed to be. Question number two, and also the most important question, how can my life make you happy, my God? How can my life make you happy? Remember we have said that Lent is about becoming, becoming like Christ. So we must ask, what do I need to do for my life to make God happy? How can my life make God happy? You see, when we ask that, that question, then we will know something. That land, it's not about to be. It's about God. It is not about me. It is not about how many days I will be fasting. It's not about the intensity, you know. It is not about the frequency, <laughs> no. It's about becoming more like Christ. And in that case, how can this life, which is becoming more like Christ, please God? How did Christ please his Father? By doing his will. He said, I am about my Father's business. I am about my Father's business. That was Christ. So we also must be about his business. It is Lent. It is not our moment. It is his moment. Our life must make him happy. It is in that way that we open the graces for Lent. We open the graces for Lent when we open ourselves and we would want to live and be more like Christ. May the Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. <music>